In their first 24 hours of life, newborns in Florida go through a series of 35 screenings to look for medical disorders. In Lee County, they will undergo one additional, one that could save their life. The name of the test is the pulse oximetry screening. Since June, about a thousand infants have taken the test looking for heart defects. We can miss a critical congenital heart defect. Our simple physical examination and um, the history from mom is not enough to detect that. Most babies who potentially have this don't have any symptoms. The test helps detect 80% of heart defects, including holes in the heart, murmurs and malformed or missing valves. It is painless, non-invasive and relatively low tech. It really is as simple as putting the sensors into the wrap. By taking a 30 second reading on both a finger and toe, experts measure oxygen levels in the baby's blood. A healthy saturation is 95 or greater. We had an infant that was getting ready to go home. Uh, the nursing staff went in and performed the screening. The values were low. The infant immediately had an echocardiogram and a critical congenital heart defect was detected and then that infant was prepared to have that fixed surgically. Pulse oximetry is recommended but not mandatory in the state of Florida. The test is cheap, about $1 per baby, making it a low-cost tool with great benefit by identifying newborns before they go home where they can rapidly deteriorate. There are some babies that do die at home without being found out, so our goal is to find this prior to them going home. We are committed to screen all infants before they leave the hospital because we know that it can improve the lives of the children in our community. Reason enough to look for potentially lethal but often treatable broken hearts. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.